this beauty you see here is called my signature stir fry rice i didn't have an idea of what to cook on a particular day and i knew i had tomato green pepper and turkey so i just started cooking and boom this came up so let's get started here is our turkey i have my chopped onions i'm pouring it in So over to the other ingredient, we have our bay leaf, our rosemary, curry, maggi, salt, and um, thyme. So what I do here, I'm going to pour in the ingredients, and I'll squeeze in my maggi. So all these ingredients are going to give the, is going to give the turkey a very nice taste. So I'm squeezing in my maggi now. So after squeezing it, you use your hand to mix in properly. Make sure you mix in well. So the reason we are doing that is for the ingredient to enter the turkey very well. Or oh, another alternative, you can marinate it by leaving it in the fridge for like an hour. But if you are rushing, just like as I was doing today, you just pour, you just leave it to boil for like three minutes. Cover your pot to boil for like three minutes. Then after three minutes, you add your water. So the juice has come out a little. After three minutes, now now I've added my water. Thereafter, you stir it very well. Make sure it's staying well. cover it to cook now here are the other ingredients we have our green pepper onions medium sized onions and two big tomatoes so you wash them and you dice them into shape so that's what we have here and here is pepper by the side I forgot to add it initially so here are my ingredients my chopped ingredients that are shaped, my green pepper and others so the turkey, I'm frying the turkey now. Here is the chicken water, which I will use later. My boiling water to parboil my rice is over in the other pot. So now my water has boiled. The water for parboiling the rice has boiled. Now I'm pouring in my rice. I'll leave in the fire for some few minutes. Then I'll wash it out. You cover your pot. Now over to the pot I'm using for my stir fry. I was supposed to use this granite oil, but I now remember that I have granite oil I use in frying the chicken, the turkey. And it's always sweeter when you use your granite oil that you use in frying, but make sure it's clean. So I added some, not much, make sure the granite oil is not so much so that you don't ruin your food. So now make it hot, then pour in your onions, your chopped onions. Stained very well. So once it heats a little while, you pour in the your tomatoes, chopped tomatoes. You stir in a little while and allow to cook for some like a minute. Thereafter. You add in your chopped green pepper, then your bonnet pepper, they are in the same family, so you just add them together. Thereafter, you stir, stir it in, stir it in very well. So now I'm adding my meat stock into it. My turkey stock, sorry. So now here's my chopped turkey. I actually picked one of the fried turkey and I chopped it into bits. I added it in. 
So that's the turkey one of it. I picked one of it and I chopped it. So after that, it's staying very well. That's the turkey. Staying very well. So leave it to cook for a minute. After a minute, you add your maggi, your maggi salt, curry, and thyme. Pour it in and squeeze in your maggi. So once you are done with that, you give it a gentle stir and you leave for like two minutes, it's ready. So here's our parboiled rice. Now I'm pouring in the sauce into the parboiled rice. Make sure you don't overcook the rice when you are parboiling. So thereafter, you give it a gentle stir around. Now I'm done turning it. I'll cover for a few minutes for it to simmer well our rice is ready it's so lovely and tasty give it a try so please subscribe like and comment thank you for watching